Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at how to read uh, groups from HDF5, HDF5 files. Let's import NumPy as NP and the H5Py package and then uh, open the same file we created in the, in the last video but now in reading mode as HDF and what we're going to do now is um, we're going to have a look at the items inside this file. So we're going to say hdf.items and here I'm converting it into a list I'm calling it I'm saving the variable called base items and then I'm just printing out the contents of this base item so if I if we have a look at that then we notice that items in the base directory this is what I'm printing out here and it says here group 1 um, which is a hdf5 group and it has two members and group 2 which is a hdf5 group and it has two members so group 1 has two data sets and group 2 has two subgroups if you remember from the last video so if I say hdf dot get group one now this one so this is like the key and then I get the value back g1 and then I, I want to have a look at the items inside g1 and notes here I'm using g1 dot items and I'm converting that into a list and then I'm printing out this list then I notice now I get Items in group 1, data set 1, which is a HDF5 data set. It has key data set 1, and the value has shape 1000 by 1000. And the second item is data set 4. It has key data set 4, and, val uh, and value is HDF5 data set, which is um, of shape 1000 by or shape 1000 by 1000. Okay, so that's how to get to the items. And then... Um, Using these guys, I can I can easily read the data in data set one in I'm sorry in in group one. So I can say for example, data set four equals um, equals g one sorry yeah, here equals g one dot get and then the key here is what data set four data set four. I can get that and to be able to have it as an umpire array like we said we saw before we do np dot array so we transform it back into an umpire array and then I can print for example data set four dot shape or something like that and I get the shape 1000 by 1000 I can also print the content I mean manipulate the content if I want so that's how to create I'm sorry to access a group now let's have a look at how to access group 2 because it has two subgroups so we can say here group 2 equals hdf dot get group 1 because remember we had group 1 here and group 2 and then here I say group 2 items equals um, list g2 dot items and then print print items in a group 2 g2 items let's have a look at what this looks like and now in group 2 here as you can see I have subgroup 1 which is a, a HDF group HDF5 group it's not a set and the path is slash group 2 slash subgroup 1 and it has one member and then subgroup 2 it's a HDF5 group the path is this and it has one member so to be able to access uh, things inside um, those subgroups, what I, what I can say is, I can say, um, I can say, for example, group 2, 1, which is subgroup 1, equals g2 dot get, and I pass it the path. And the path is this path here, so group 2 slash subgroup 1. Let me copy and Paste that. So it's important to explore the contents by looking at the items and then accessing the values. If I run that, yep. Um, and then to be able to get the data, um, or in fact, to have a look at the items now of uh, G21, we can say G21 items equals, and then we'll have it in a list, uh, G21 dot items. Yep, and then if we print out G21, the items inside uh, G21, if I just copy this quickly and paste it here, 
G to one items in this is going to be a subgroup one so group two one let's call it so group two subgroup one if I run that then the contents there will be or the items will be data set three which is of type HDF5 data set and uh, the key is data set three and the shape is 1000 by uh, 1000 okay so that's the key and this is the value so I can easily now access data set three and I'll leave it here to convert it into a numpy array but now I'm gonna say g to one so group two um, subgroup one and then get me data set three and then if I just print out the shape of data set three then it should be 1000 by 1000 if I, if I pass it the wrong key but they said three uh, then it returns me and you know nothing basically because it doesn't find that key okay so I hope the idea makes sense it's very nice and easy to access groups subgroups and have a look at the contents as we saw here so we use uh, items we list the items have a look at the keys and then from there we use them to list the sub items so we and then until we can access the actual data by using get okay so let's stop here and i'll see you in the next video